So we are on board Starship with Dave Oaks, uh, who is a, an expert in diving and the Bahamas in general expert of the area. He's been coming here for 20, over 20 years? Since 1997, yeah, about 23 years. Awesome, and he's gonna uh, tell us about the Bahamas. Okay, that is a great way to start because the Bahamas is a huge area. It starts up here at Grand Bahama in the north and extends all the way to Great Inagua in the south, a distance of nearly 600 miles. And in the west, we have Quesal Bank, and then all the way over here to San Salvador, Samana Key, and Mayaguana. Again, almost nearly 600 miles. So this is a huge area. You could spend an entire career just chartering in mm -hmm. the Bahamas, never have to go anywhere else. What most people tend to do is fly into Nassau and do the Exumas, which is from Nassau down to Staniel Key primarily, a very small section, as you'll note, of the entire Bahamas. What I want to let you know is as beautiful as this is, and a great charter with great scuba diving, you've got hundreds and hundreds of square miles, thousands of square miles more to charter in that offer not only great um, land activities to participate in, but incredible diving. Throughout the Bahamas and, and the out islands, this charter, or this charter show, this broker show has been about highlighting the out islands. So let's refer to those as Eleuthera, Cat Island, San Salvador, this whole outer chain that comes down to Great Inagua. All right. I want you to know there is fantastic diving, certainly along this route in what's called the Exumas, but also here along the wall at Andros. Some of the best wall diving in the world is right through here and down to the tongue of the ocean. If you come across to Eleuthera, Again, great reef diving up here in Spanish Wells. They call this the devil's backbone mm -hmm. because of all the ships that have, have crashed and sunk on, the, on that reef. And then as you work your way along the east side of Eleuthera, again, just incredible reef and wall diving. And then right down here in the Exumas, if you do do an Exumas trip at Ship Channel, mm -hmm. it's called Dog Rock Wall. Some of the best wall diving in the Bahamas is right mm -hmm. there. So if you stay with the Exumas, what you primarily have is a chain of small little islands mm -hmm. with the Exuma Sound to the east. And there's, there's great wall diving out there, at least along the northern part. And then between some of the, uh, the small islands of the Exumas, you dive the cut, so you're drift diving in between there. So those are daily fed by a, a tidal current, so it's rich with great marine life, uh, rich with coral and just sea turtles, any number of great things that divers like to see, along with the thrill of a drift dive. All right, so that's fantastic. But what this show was all about is we wanted to highlight the out islands of the Bahamas. So again, here's where charters tend to run, but realize you've got Eleuthera, Cat Island, mm -hmm. Great Exuma, San Salvador, Rum Key Conception. Uh, I would add that uh, the, the relatively new thing that uh, the clients might not be aware of is that uh, uh, the, the flights don't, don't only go to New Providence and Nassau, but there are direct flights from uh, even Miami to uh, Staniel Key, uh, if I remember correctly, Ulithra, Cat Island, uh, maybe some other locations? You were abs you're absolutely correct. You can Several places that you can fly into Eleuthera. You've got a major international airport at Georgetown Great Exuma. You can fly into San Salvador. Mm -hmm. You can fly into Long Island. You can fly into Crooked Island. You can even fly into Providenciales down in Turks mm -hmm. and Caicos and come up into the Bahamas from the south and work your way to the north. Which is a game changer because if you really want, uh, need to start in NASA, it kind of limits you. But like this, you can come for years and years and uh, not see the same, same, same places. That is so correct. Mm -hmm. While you can still get to the out islands from Nassau, you're, you're limited more to the northern out islands. But if you fly into Great Exuma, you can, on a, on a seven day charter, cover much of the southern out mm -hmm. islands. And these are places very, very few people ever get to go charter. They, they, everybody just tends to go to Nassau because it seems mm -hmm. simple and easy. But I've done many charters that depart out of Georgetown and they have been phenomenal. And you're going to islands that, that have absolutely crystal clear water. Mm -hmm. The Bahamas are known for incredibly clear water, massive coral formations, and great wall diving. So on these out island sites, what you get are, are dive destinations where you'll see no other dive boat, no other divers. Not only do you have the reef to yourself, you essentially have the entire island to yourself because most of these islands are completely uninhabited. And once you get underwater, it's a wide variety of diving for all skill levels. You've got shallow reefs, huge coral heads, you've got drift diving that can just be fun and exciting uh, as you fly across the reef and then you've got incredible wall diving with walls that start in maybe 30 or 40 feet and then extend mm -hmm. down into the abyss so just imagine 
diving along the sides of the Grand Canyon or a mountain. Uh, it's just mm -hmm. beautiful. And then a, a, a eagle ray swims by or a school of eagle rays or turtles. So the area is is just loaded with marine life. Mm -hmm. Beautiful clear water. But, okay. Well, the, the normal run people do is they come to Nassau, over to Highburn Key, and then cruise down to Staniel, and then turn around and come back. So again, a very small area of the Bahamas. And through this area, you have drift diving between the islands of the Exumas, as well as wall diving along some of the northern edges of the Exumas, um, really picking up about Wardrick Wells up, up to Ship Channel. So there's very pretty wall diving out there. Now, if you want to extend and get to the out islands, fly into Georgetown Great Exuma. That gives you easy access to Conception Island, truly one of the jewels of the Bahamas, a tiny little uninhabited island, beautiful beach, several resident dolphin live there. You're almost guaranteed to see dolphin and beautiful wall diving at Conception Island. And then you can head out to San Salvador, mm -hmm. which is the, the island that Columbus first landed on in 1492. Mm -hmm. Beautiful diving here. Down to Rumkey. This was Columbus's second landing spot. Beautiful walls and reefs along Rumkey. And then from there, you could head down to Crooked Island. And there is a huge lighthouse there that sits out on an island called uh, Bird Rock. And then not only is it an amazing 100 plus foot um, in perfect shape lighthouse, but you've also got incredible reef and wall diving along Crooked Island, down here to Acklands, and from this point, you're just 35 miles away from Hogsty Reef, which is uh, a very unique feature in the Atlantic Ocean. It, the, um, the Pacific has many, many atolls. The Atlantic Ocean only has about six, and Hogsty Reef is one of them right here in the Bahamas. So Hogsty is an area that should not be missed Great Inagua and Little Inagua, some amazing reef and wall diving there. And also the Plana Keys as you start to work your way back. Uninhabited islands with gorgeous reef, gorgeous wall diving. And like I said, average visibility is 100 plus feet. So 30 to 40 meters average visibility. It's beautiful diving. One. I could talk all day about the Bahamas because mm -hmm. it's so huge. But there is great diving at Bimini. I, I would, yeah, so b the, b the main advantage of Bimini is the proximity to proximity. Florida. It's, it's 35 miles mm -hmm. from Fort Lauderdale. So you've got great diving mm -hmm. in Bimini. But what these out islands are known for is, again, just absolute remote destinations. You'll be diving in places few of anybody has ever seen. You could be the first diver on some of these sites. They are absolutely, uh, most of the islands are uninhabited. You'll see no other dive boats, no other divers. You have the not just the reef, the entire island to yourself. All the beaches, all of the great underwater life, all of the historic parts of these islands. There's a lot of Lucayan ruins, um, old settlement ruins. There's an old uh, mansion, old forts. We've brought along uh, often anthropologists and uh, uh, historians who can come in there mm -hmm. and, and walk through these ruins and tell you about how the people lived three, four hundred, five hundred years ago who first came to these islands. But you'll see no one else. Any islands that do have people on them, the people are incredibly friendly. You've got the largest population of pink flamingos down there in the, the Great Inaguas. You've got uh, some of the bluest, clearest water. Yeah, almost at the edge of the map, Great Inagua. Great Inagua, so. Inagua. And just amazing diving here. There's a Morton Salt Factory down here, but pretty much the only thing on the island, huge mountains of salt. Mm -hmm. You've got old wrecks, you've got marine life that is just unaccustomed to seeing divers, so they're not afraid. You can, you can get close to things. And just like everywhere in the Bahamas, I've had the good fortune of diving almost the entire Caribbean, much of Central America, certainly Florida. The clearest, bluest, best water for diving tends to be right here in the Bahamas. So uh, if you're looking for fantastic drift diving, wall diving, reef diving, animal encounters, by that I mean dolphins, turtles, sharks, rays, it's in the Bahamas. And if you're a diver, you shouldn't miss it. And to come here, you'll be seeing things that few others have ever seen. Just amazing. Beautiful. Dave, thank you for sharing uh, all that and have a great day. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mom. Enjoyed it.